So one of the most commonly asked questions on the GRE is how many words do the students really need to know to excel on the GRE? Whether it's 1000 words or 2000 words, how many words? Different books have different estimates. So is it so easy? Is it so easy that you can just mug up 800, 8000, whatever list you want to have of so many words and then excel on the GRE? It ain't so simple. It is more complicated than that. And why is that? Think about what GRE is trying to test. GRE is trying to test whether during your school education and college education, you developed those crucial comprehension skills, reading comprehension, understanding the shades of meaning of different words and getting the nuances of the language. This was done throughout the years of your education. Hopefully, if you didn't, then you are trying to cram up for it. So, it is not really that simple that you can just mug up those words and hope to excel on the GRE. That is a losing game. Don't do that. Instead, take three months of your preparation and develop your reading skills. And during that reading, when you read GRE like reading material, you will encounter a lot of different difficult words. Look those words in a dictionary and a thesaurus and see what kind of shades of meaning that they have. With that and with those lists of words, of course, I'm not asking you to not mug up those words. Of course, you have to really expand your vocabulary, but it can't be done in isolation. You have to do it along with developing your reading comprehension skills, as well as understanding what the passages and what the real words actually mean. Why was this particular word used in the sentence? For example, you can take two words, deluge and a flood. They are kind of synonymous but as many scholars will tell you there are no synonyms in English language technically every word has a different shade of meaning so even you look up something like deluge and flood of course they are synonymous but there are different shades of meaning of different words similarly ameliorate as well as other words used for reducing something Right? So they have different shades of meaning and you have to get into the habit of knowing why a particular word was used in that particular context. So reading from context, reading comprehension skills, these are really most important. And along with that, of course, a large vocabulary will help. So I hope this answers your question. If you have any other question, do let me know. I hope the 1000 or 2000 word list will be helpful to you. So do make sure to read up on that. But along with that, develop your reading comprehension skills.